All right, this is uh, putting the new broiler element into a Kenmore Elite stove here. So took the old one out. Basically, just reverse what I'm going to do if you want to remove it. Um, so these two, the ends, go through these holes in the back, and you want to make sure that your uh, the hole is facing down. You don't want it. You don't want it up like that, or else it's not going to fit in your stove. Okay, so I'm going to fit it through the back there. this a little bit, just kind of get it in there most of the way. Okay, same thing the other side. basically. So this one end goes up in a hole on the ceiling and then this one screws in. Okay. Actually, you know what? I thought these were closed on the end, but it can slide in there. So I'm going to screw the screw on a little bit of the way. It'll make it a lot easier. So find my screw hole right there. Oh yeah, that's going to be, should be quite a bit easier. And put this one up here also. Okay, now let's just screw it in a little bit. Now I'm going to put this end in the hole, this end in the hole up there, and then this end's going to go around the screw. Theoretically, I'm going to push that up on, in the hole there. And swing that up onto our screw. Doesn't look like it, so maybe we can put it on the screw first. You know what? I thought my little strategy was going to work, but it might. Nope, it's not going to work. So, take that screw out. I tried to cut a corner there, but it didn't work. That's all right. So, we're going to put the, put the element holder in there. And this one's kind of tricky now. We really need three hands to be better for this, but get it up in there. That's not too bad, actually. Okay, so got this down to a science now. Put the hole in there, one end. Bring that up to this part. Okay, find your hole here. Get it all in there. Let's see where we at? There we go. Okay, screw that in. All right, so these, all these screws are a quarter inch. And I'm just going to use my uh, handy dandy drill here. Just to tighten it up. Impact driver, not too tight. Okay, same thing at the back there. Maybe one click there. There we go. Alright, so that's that. Looks like it's on there. Are they good, I guess? Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go to the back and try to hook it up here. Let's move around to the back. Dun, 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 dun. Finish the hook up here. So, let's see where we're at. Right. Basically, show you right here. You have this coming through the back here. That's an element. And this uh, blue wire right here. It's just going to push onto that. And same thing with this side. It's back to the stove. I'll show you how I took the, the back off. So basically, I'm just going to push it on there. Just like that. Try to push it on nice and straight so it doesn't bend anything. Okay. 
the same on that end. I'm really hoping this is going to work. Um, I replaced the thermostat already, and that wasn't it. And I'm hoping it's not the board. This is my second option, was the boiler element, or broiler, I'm sorry. So that's how to replace a broiler element in a Kenmore Elite stove. Uh, I'm going to plug it in and see if it works.